Linda's Pantry and today I am making a sweet summer corn salsa or I mean you can do this any variation you want but trust me when I tell you if you add fresh sweet summer corn in your salsa it's so good we are having tacos tonight and I've already did one ear of corn get all the kernels off and get that in there and you can take your knife as well and you can take the back of your knife here and get some of that milk out of there if you want to. Um, I'm gonna do that on the off camera <laughs> so I don't take up all the time. Here I have some fresh tomatoes from my garden. These are early girl tomatoes. And let me do this over. My head's gonna be cut off. pantry and today I'm bringing you a salsa recipe or an idea. It's not an exact recipe. You can switch this up any way you want. So if you like those kind of things, go ahead and hit that thumbs up right now. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you subscribe to my channel to see more of this kind of stuff. So corn is in season and we have one ear of corn down in our bowl. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to do off camera is I've already got the kernels in here, but I'm going to take the back of my knife and get any of that milk out of there. It makes the salsa a little bit sweeter. It's so delicious. And there you go. So on my board here, I have an avocado that I've cut in half and I've got it cubed up. I've got some fresh early girl tomatoes out of my garden. A bundle of, well, not a bundle, but it's about... Um, a third to a half cup of chopped up cilantro, a bundle of green onions, one serrano pepper with the seeds and all, and I've got two limes. One I've already zested and I squeezed a little bit to keep my avocados from going wonky and getting ugly. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and where's my squeezer? Hold on. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and squeeze our uh, our limes that I zested down in our bowl. And oh. do you guys want to come in close and see what's going on? Let me bring you in. Okay, as you can see, I've got my ear of corn, which works out to be about three-fourths of a cup. Um, the zest of this first lime, and then now I'm going to go ahead and squeeze the rest of the lime juice in my bowl. Right here. How easy is this? And I'll zest the other lime in as well. And you just want the, the um, pit, you know, the green part. Don't get down in the white too far, or it'll get, it'll be bitter. And I, the way I pick limes, when you go to the grocery store, get the smoothest skin you can. That means it's got the most juice. It's pretty amazing. If you get a real bumpy one, you're not going to get a lot of juice. Just saying. That's how I pick them anyway. And you can, before you juice them, roll them on the counter. I'm sure you know that. Or some people put them in the microwave for a couple of seconds to get the juices flowing. But unless I'm squeezing it by hand, I don't worry about it. Okay. So I think we got all the zest we're going to get off this. 
Now, in the juicer, get this one juiced. And you want plenty of lime juice. It always makes my mouth water when I do this. Okay. We're having turkey and black bean tacos tonight. And so I wanted to have a summer salsa, if you will, because, oh my gosh, we've got all this produce here. Let's get this over here. Get you there so you can see what's going on. And I don't want to lose any of the juice of those tomatoes. I don't mind the seeds. I want all the juice because that's going to help make this salsa delicious. My serrano pepper. And don't, if you're only using one, don't seed it. If you, if you seed it, you might want more than one. All right. And now we're going to get our avocado and I had to, there was a little spot in there. I had to get that out of there. Um, but these need to be used. So I said, let's, let's do salsa. And, and then I kind of eyeball it. I've got two avocados sitting out just in case, because if it looks like when I stir this up, that I want more, then I'll add another one. But I'm thinking that might be perfect. And then now the cilantro and green onions and a couple of them man down. Now, isn't that beautiful? Mm. And it's like a uh, pico de gallo. It could actually use another ear of corn if you really wanted to make it full of corn, but I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. It's beautiful color. It's beautiful um, ratio, I think. And between today and tomorrow, we'll be able to eat this up. Okay, so I have organic cayenne pepper. I know there's a serrano in there, but it's a different flavor. We want some black pepper. Mmm, yum. I love black pepper in my um, salsas. Okay, this is garlic salt. I'm not gonna use any other salt. And I didn't want fresh garlic in this one. So you bite down on a piece of garlic. So, you know, a teaspoon or so, and that'll give it some garlic flavor. And then I've got red wine vinegar here and about three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Take your spatula and toss. So you're now doing the toss and taste. Everything's coated, everything's seasoned. Let's get a spoon and give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotta have a little bit of everything. We need corn, tomato, green onion, cilantro. Okay, we got a little bite of everything. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna give it a taste. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. The corn pops through with the sweetness and the acidity from the tomatoes and the vinegar is such a perfect balance and creamy avocado. I truly hope you try this because it is delicious. All right, guys. I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe here at Linda's Pantry. And um, try a summer salsa. Let me know what your favorite summer salsa is down in the about section below. Leave me a comment, thumbs up, share the video if you think it'd be interesting for somebody on your Facebook page. All right guys, all you pantry peeps, have a great night.